When I started TSMC, I had a dream to build FAPS in the United States. And my dream lives. I remember when uh, TSMC first approached me for this opportunity here in Arizona. And I remember flying here with my wife, actually. We drove to see the site. As we were driving, my wife said, are they gonna build a microchip facility in the middle of nowhere? I'm like, apparently so. This is a pioneering event. This is brand new. What we're building is a city. It felt like a thousand football fields under development. It, it's almost unfathomable. To be able to start from nothing, and within a very short time, we have built something amazing. Having a site like Phoenix is really very important. First and foremost, our customers want us here. Being in the same time zone, in the same geography, helps our customers produce the world's best chips. My favorite part of the building, it is the fountain at the entrance. Seeing that, that wafer, how grandiose it is, just remind me what's, what's this job it's about. It's not just the building, the size of it, but also what is inside. On site, we have 3,000 engineers, technicians, support folks, people from all over the U.S., from South America and from all over Asia. So many people coming together for a particular mission. The dream was to build an advanced semiconductor facility here in the United States. So I said, this sounds amazing. Uh, sign me up. I wanted to work at TSMC because the tech, right? Like, you can't get it anywhere else. It kind of feels like Christmas morning sometimes, when you spend all year asking for your favorite toys, and then the next day, they're there. Uh, three. Oh. <laughs> I remember when bringing the first piece of equipment into the facility and be part of that, I think that's when he says, okay, it's go time now. It's a remarkable milestone. We bring the manufacturing back to the USA. At the moment, I was so touched. I almost quite not. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> TSMC Arizona really shows how dedicated we are to pushing innovation and advanced manufacturing. Now that we're opening up the FAB, I'm ready for the world to see kind of all the amazing things that's happening at FAB 21. The set is the main gown room where we are going to get the full bunny suit and we are gonna be gowning to get into the fab. My favorite part of the building is definitely the fab. <laughs> it's like you get into a sci-fi movie. My level of excitement for the first fab, I would say from a scale of one to 10, is a solid 10. <laughs> I mean, if I could pick 20, I would. Our clean room, it's just massive. I get goosebumps. The first hallway that you find is what we call the silver highway. What we're looking at right now is the automated material handling system. We have about 700 unified pods that carry the wafers. They're flying through the fab. And they're just speeding up and down and zipping left and right. Going everywhere, going to a tool, dropping it down. I use them every single day for thousands of my wafers going to anything. As far as how to make a semiconductor, I think it's still kind of magic to a lot of people. In each one of these machines, there is a lot of high-tech going on. Plasma ignites. Molecules and atoms move around. We can fit billions of transistors on a single chip. One transistor is 10 to 20,000 times smaller than a human hair. To be able to do this is incredibly difficult. 
We are tricking light using extreme ultraviolet technologies to be able to print line widths at that geometry. It really blows the mind. You stand in front of something that has as many transistors as the stars in a galaxy. To make these chips exist, we try to make the impossible possible. This is the job of an engineer here. All the technology that we take for granted, it would not have been made possible without semiconductors. Everything around us has a chip inside it. All that we use, the way we live, the way we work, those chips, guess what? TSMC makes most of those. The technology that we're working on here is the building block of so many innovations going on around the world right now. This technology is making AI a real thing. You need these really advanced chips for those that nobody else can make but TSMC. In Arizona, we think about water on a daily basis. We're very aware of, of the changes related to climate, uh, which affects uh, water and, and scarcity management. What's really important about TSMC is we are the greenest semiconductor company on the planet. The process of manufacturing advanced semiconductors is a resource-intensive process. Our industrial reclamation water plant will enable us to recycle and reclaim 90% of the water we use here. So we want to be a very good partner to the community that we live in, in Arizona. When we first arrived here, it was really just an empty area. We saw so many things that we need to set up. But the challenges, it makes us all become stronger. Our employees' commitment has not only motivated us, but also inspired us. And I think that's made Fab 21 in Arizona so special. American culture and the Taiwanese culture has a lot to learn from each other. We work together as one team. We build the Fab one by one. TSMC confirming it has kicked off semiconductor chips production ahead of schedule. And now to have yields that match the mother fab in Taiwan is really amazing. President Trump announcing TSMC in Phoenix and investing 100 billion more dollars in our state. This is a tremendous move by the most powerful company in the world. A total now of 165 billion dollars invested here. We're going to have three fabs by the end of the decade. Now they'll double that and build two new packaging plants and a research and development center. The scale of what we're doing, it's creating thousands of jobs. I want to say thank you to the TSMC employees and customers. They all support TSMC's manufacturing in the U.S. Now the vision become reality. Bringing TSMC's investment to the United States is a master stroke. The future of the chip industry is our future, and TSMC is the bedrock. We could not do what we do without our partnership with TSMC. We work with TSMC to manufacture the chips that help power our products all over the world. TSMC and its manufacturing is going to become foundational to the new economy. We hope in the future, the local community treat us like a local company. That's a dream. That's my vision. <laughs> and now, thanks to the hard work of so many people, these chips can be proudly stamped made in America. Now, driving into work every morning, it's like the desert and TSMC, it's one in the same. People are, are getting excited for, hey, what's next?